welcome to this coaching meditation. I'm talking today about preparing for success. I don't know about you, but very often I'll start a project and I'll do lots of planning and, you know, that's great stuff. And then something happens along the way and you feel like you've been thrown a curveball and you end off in a different direction. And it happens so very easily. You have to be conscious of the fact you're going in the wrong direction and bring yourself back. What if there was an easier way? to manage those projects, those goals that you want to set and achieve for yourself? What if you could do something different? I used to be a project manager in a former life and there, one of the sayings very often used is that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So the planning is really important. But in this meditation, I want to do something slightly different. I want you to Think about what it is you'd like to achieve. It doesn't matter what it is. Just be very clear about what it is you want. And if you're not really sure in the long term, because let's be honest, you can listen to this more than once. Choose something, say, for the next month, the next three months, something you want to achieve that has so far been not delivering quite what you want. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take you deep into your inner world to understand what it is you have to do because your thoughts are the key to where you want to go. Your thoughts are built upon um, the way you think about things at a deeper level, not your conscious thinking, but your deeper thinking, the way you feel your beliefs and your values. There's a whole whole set of things that your thoughts are based on. And I want to take you towards that today. All you have to do is listen and just relax. The more you relax, the more that you um, enable yourself to go to a deeper state. So once you've got that in your mind, um, what I want to do now is to take you on that journey. So when you're ready, I want you to make sure you're somewhere that you feel comfortable and you're safe and are not going to be disturbed for a period of time. And I want you to hmm, close your eyes when you're ready. You may recall that by closing your eyes, you're reducing the stimuli that keeps your brain occupied in the now. Because really where I want your sight to go is inwards. I want you to go inwards to feel like you are becoming calmer, more centred. And I don't know where your centre will be. It could be your head. It could be your heart. It could be your gut. Just focus on one or the other. That's right, breathing in a way <clears throat> that is right for you. Just noticing your breathing is bringing your awareness to the now. Really beginning to notice what's going on. Pay attention to the messages that may be coming back from your body that says it needs attention so that you can pay attention after this meditation. Two for one. Okay, so I'm going to count you down from 10 to 1. Remember, you'll be completely in control because this is in your head and you'll be guided by what I say, but you'll be guided by your internal mind who will be listening. I'm going to count you from 10 to 1 and I want you to imagine that when you get to 1, you're going to come to a door. And when we get to the door, I'll explain what happens next. So 10, getting yourself nice and comfortable. Nine, allowing yourself to settle there where you are. Eight, knowing that you are giving your precious time for this. So the more that you can sink into the comfort, the better it is for you. Seven, six, 
knowing that this is your way of tapping into that deeper knowledge that is within you that has so far been elusive in helping you achieve your goals six five and i'm not saying it'll all suddenly turn around but any insights that help you on your way have got to be worth it as you go deeper four three being open to whatever you need to be open to that's going to help you the most two getting ready for the door one and when you see the door i don't know what sort of door it is just allow yourself to picture the door that's right for you now the door is closed right now and let me tell you what's behind it so every time you take a decision you make a choice what happens is you take the next step on the journey of your life. But before you take that decision, that choice, that step, there are a whole different array of timelines that you could go down. So you could make one choice and you could go down one timeline that will end up wherever it ends up. And then another one that will take you somewhere else. There will be loads of different choices, a spectrum of choices, if you like. And with each decision, each choice you make, each action you take will move you through this spectrum of timelines. What we want is the timeline where you are successfully doing what it is you wanted. So in a moment, I want you to bring to mind that goal that you have, that thing that you want to achieve. Doesn't matter how short or long the time is, just get that into your mind's eye. And as you do, the door is going to open. And what you're going to do is you're going to allow yourself to jump, supposedly into space, but what you'll do is you'll jump onto the right timeline. It's a bit matrixy if you've ever seen the film. And that's okay. Just trust that your deeper mind knows the right timeline for you. So get ready to jump onto the timeline that this particular goal can be achieved. Mm -hmm. You will be completely safe. Because what happens is your unconscious wants to make sure you land on the right one. So when you're ready, as the door opens, jump or step, whatever, on a timeline that seems right for you. It could be that it's it's particularly bright. It could be that it's flashing or it's got colour. It stands out in some way for the others. In, and I don't know what that will be, but you do. And that's all that matters. When you're ready, take that step, that jump that action that will put you on the right timeline. And as you jump there, step there, I want you, first of all, to notice that you are on firm ground. You're safe. So look at your feet so that you can see that you are safe. Maybe look at what you're standing on to help you feel even safer. And the first thing I want you to do is to look around at your surroundings. What, what are you, where are you and what are you doing? Who is with you? What is your experience in this new, new timeline? You who's achieved what it is they want to achieve in the timeline that you've got. Now, you may not be able to see particular people. That's OK. But just get a sense of it. You know, the people who are around you who are supporting you the people who may be your clients, the people who have helped you get where you are, just get a sense of them. There may be a few, there may be a whole crowd. Just see them there. And notice what you notice about what achieving this objective did for you. What did it give you personally? And I don't know what that is either, but there will be something that you gained from this. A purpose, 
I really get a sense of that right now. Maybe it was to upgrade premises or you wanted to move house on a personal level. Or maybe you wanted to have more time for you and your family. Or you wanted to go travelling. I want you to notice what this gave you. If it's in the shorter term, it might be that you um, learned something new or you achieved something that you've been after. That race that you've been training for. Who knows? You know. Just you choose what it is that's for you. And in a moment, as you get a real sense of this achievement that you've got, and you're seeing the experiences that it's now able to bring you, I want you to then look at what you did to get there. What did you do? And look at all the behaviours that you had that brought you to this place. All the ones that you did really, really well, the great habits that really supported you through this. So it will be things like your mindset that will have developed the right behaviours, getting up at the same time, going to bed at the same time. It will be the self-care behaviours. It will be the behaviours in the, in the business. It doesn't matter. There will be some standard behaviours that are really supporting you in this development of this new you. And I wonder whether there are any behaviours you needed. Maybe there were some new behaviours that you needed. Let's take those on now too. What might they have been? What would have helped you to get to this point? Bring them to mind now. That's right, very good. And then have a look at your skills and abilities. What what ones really helped you on this journey to where you are? Just see what they were. Maybe you were missing some, in which case look at those two. Again, a real sense of who you became to become the person who achieved this objective. And now we get to the real important stuff. How does this make you feel? I asked you earlier to get in touch with the core of you, whether that was in your head, your heart or your gut. Is this feeling in that place or somewhere different? It's really important. If you can't feel, just sense where it's coming through. And if you can't sense it, Use your, your logical mind if you're still there. But there will be a very subtle message that comes through. It's the first answer. Let's not overthink it. The first answer that comes to your head, go with that. And this feeling, you might not be able to put a words to it, name it. It could be, you know, um, excitement. It could be, you know, satisfaction. It doesn't matter. But get the feeling is more important than naming it. And I want you to give it a colour. So you've now got a location and a colour of this feeling. Mm. How does that make you feel? That's right, very good. And once you've got that feeling, what's important to you about this achievement? What was important to you about it? And remember, we're looking at you personally. So it could be family, it could be freedom, it could be money, it could be any of these things. Mm. That's right, very good. And again, if you can't articulate it, it's no problem, just get a sense of it. Because the more that you listen to this, the more that that will come to you, it will become clearer. In fact, I'll record something on values if that helps. And now, who have you become to get this objective and this goal? A better person. A 
person who is able to work with others, share with others. I don't know. What's your identity? Is this putting you on your right path? Because invariably what we want, if it's important to us, will be good for those around us. So let's just tune into that and make that location, that colour of the success, those feelings and what's important to you stronger, bigger, bolder and brighter. That's right. Very good. So that you can really see what's important to you in this new you. You can really feel what this has given you by achieving this. That you are, can sense the new skills and abilities that have been honed and crafted to lead you on this new journey of yours. That you've got the behaviours that are right for what you need. And most of all, that you can experience what you can experience. And I want you to make that even bigger. Align it with that colour and that location of head, heart or gut. Or all three would be stronger, but whatever works for you, it could be somewhere else. Just make it really strong and encapsulate everything that we've just covered. Because this is the you that will deliver the goal. It may not do it in the time frame you want, but trust that doing the right things, using your skills and abilities, tapping into those feelings and knowing it's something that's important to you, you're going to get there. And in a moment, I'm going to bring you back to now. I'm going to count you from one to five with one coming back to the door, back to this timeline, bringing back with you all those wonderful feelings that are going to help you on your way, knowing what's important to you, knowing what it is you want to achieve. Jumping back into the now to storing this new information in that place where you store all your learnings so that whenever you need them in the future now, they will be there for you. Three, feeling a sense of excitement or motivation or something that lifts you for today, tomorrow and the rest of the week for as long as you need to. And all you have to do is listen to this again as four coming back towards the now, bringing with you all those feel good feelings, knowing that you've you've changed in some way, you're different than the person who started listening to this. Five, coming back to the now, opening your eyes, feeling your fingers and toes, feeling grounded and ready to be different. 